Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new really video in which we're exploring another Ossend Warlord. But we gotta read about the siege of Jakobstam. It's becoming a model amongst the populace that God has forsaken Oslem. And recent events only seem to be cementing this feeling. Amidst the militarist egos of Stalak, of Drushler, and Yakons, a new tragedy emerges in Letham. Jakobstad, old Jakobis, or Pils to the natives, has been one of the most shining beacon of German blood. A successful demonstration of what Laban's daddy Rao means, the city is now home to thousands of good citizens of the good old Reich, working and thriving in the true spirit of what many hope they might become Eastern Germania. This Jew of Letgalen, it seems, was too shiny a trophy in the chaos of her present situation. And the veteran Jew himself, Alba Kovner, with his united partisan organization, has seized control of the defense of the city. Reports are coming in from across the region that Germanized settlements are being ransacked and burned to the ground by these rogue militants. The horrors are not end there. Letgalen's, or Letgalen's capital, it seems, was only the beginning of the UPO's efforts. It quickly is becoming apparent that in the infantile center for what Kovner sees as a wider campaign, and is... In what is clear to the a maturing civil war, or at least those are paying attention, a new factor or new actors just join the stage. Alarms at their covenant. Oh, the time for revenge has come. Yes. And here we go with Jakobstadt. Hopefully we do not fail, and if we do fail, I'll make sure we don't. But let's begin with uh, From the Shadows. We hide no longer. Inklings of fear in the back of the uh, NAZI mind have festered into something they cannot control. Now our blades emerge from our sleeves. Our eyes burn with the ashes of our dead brothers and sisters, and our yells echo with the screams of fear of countless millions as they succumb to poison and flame. The Germans cry in terror, screech in revulsion, and shout in anger, but we are rebel in their condemnations. We're no longer their nightmares, their sleeping horrors that skitter back into the cold, inky blackness when they open their eyes to try and see us. They can see us now. We don't hide in the shadows. We cast them. Ah, Abba. God, I love ABBA, the Swedish band back from like a couple decades ago. What a great group. <coughs> Excuse me, but after that one, uh, the other uh, partisans, sooner rather than later, a tree falls. It's not great. Yeah, I don't know. Um, poverty rate gets worse, but we get more division recovery rate. But I'm not really concerned about poverty rate. Let's do Dibukum. The Dubuque were monsters of folk stores, the souls of the dead trapped on earth that wanted them no longer. They live in agony, their memories of their living life half rotten, and have served as an unreachable reminder of their trapped state rather than a tiny piece of solace. With no other option, they harness and wreak havoc upon the still living, forcing them to do their tasks for them so that their tormented souls could finally be unchained in this wretched plane, and dissolve into the etherous and unknowable worlds beyond. So many of our brethren were trapped in this earth, in sterile chambers scorched by ash or tainted by toxins, and so many found themselves shackled to this world after their deaths. They have haunted us ever since, pleading for us to not let those who did this to go to them unpunished. The screeching tiny whispers and little screams softer than the sun's rays, and not another night goes by that we do not see those we loved weeping in our dreams. They are Dibyokin, and they see us, as, ask us one thing, to be, to in turn be the Dibyokin to the German, haunting them and tormenting them until they perform the one great task they'll finally let them rest. We only ask the German to do one thing and die. Then we, will, then we and those loved can finally be at peace and open door versus gather support. Uh, we do have quite a bit of good manpower, so this is not bad. Let's go with an open door. An open door is one which be begs to be entered, openly without suspicion, where they, where some may put fortifications, we have left fields. Where some may raise flags, we have left bare poles, and where some may, may, may butt boundaries, we have left nothing. All across Austin, the Nazis will find these doors in nowhere. And the, when they have stepped through, that is when we will strike. And every tree is a gorilla. And every deserted home a bomb. And every bush a mine. Proudly and blindly, they'll stride across the threshold of our door to heck. And proudly and blindly, will they die. An empty field. Men on patrol never heard of from again. A commander's transmission silence at random. A dog's bark cut short by yelp. All signs of a wrath. Tries in might, searching forests, villages, bases. The Germans will never find us. It maddens and torments them. And in that fury, they become ever more reckless, charging headlong into our traps and rifles. They kill themselves almost as much as we kill them. And then nothing but trees. For decades, we have toiled in the great forest of Austin, digging sprawling routes hidden in dirt and brush. It may be well that the most complex system of trends in all of Austin lies in these forests. Our spiders webs flowing with weaponry, ammo, and partisans. Have we stalked them under uh, their very feet? The Germans will never see us coming until this run, and then when their ri friends arrive to save them, we'll already be back in our webs, leaving only righteous justice behind. And right now, we're just kind of just stuck here. Like, nothing's going on. We'll let, let, let everyone else kill each other off. Um, can't really build anything. I don't have very much. It's not a terrible situation that we're in. We do seem a little balanced, I guess. As, as I've played some other warlords, some people did say that Austin will get an update in the future, which is great, so... I'm not super, super concerned about this right now, but, you know, if things go poorly, there are always commands to use, but, uh, gather support, shall we? There's not a single non-German in all of Boston who did not lose someone or something to the war in its aftermath. Homes, limbs, loved ones, they were all stolen from us by the invaders, and now they are buried in the earth with us only to remember them. 
But remember them we do, and remember them do all the people who were they, were they were stolen from. Even the collaborators in Complacent hold a tiny pinhole in their heart where something is missing. They may kiss the boot, but what that was stolen still haunts them in the back of their minds. All we have to do is remind them of what was taken. Show them who took it, and hand them the rifle and let them do the rest. Yeah, because at this point, look, oh, it's not very good for everybody. Oh, you guys are about to capitulate, aren't you? Oh. Which would be worse for us, but I want these guys to kill each other first, because, well, any equipment we lose, there's not much, much we can really do about that. Um, I'd love to take Dunaberg, but really, any tower that we want to take, we don't have very much to do. We, are, we're not, we don't have any good positions. Let's take a look here. So as it's auto-saving, I want to see the supply map mode, because we have railroad tracks here for, through Rika, which means they can't get supply through here, which is good, obviously. But other than that, there's a supply point right here, and they double up. Doubling up right there. The trees. Can we move right there, maybe? Without sprawling to attack us? If not, like I said, we, we can use constant commands. We're losing political power. Crap. Armories unguarded. Well, they're out scurrying through the fields of Austin, biting, gnawing, and savaging their own kind. Our nests lay undisturbed and unobserved. And that lies our opportunity. Many of them, the UPO, only carry with them what weapons they've scavengers liberated from the Germans. A submachine gun, a pistol, a bayonet. And they can bring bloody justice upon the enemy with old guns and knives. The Germans will shudder to think what we, the Bukum, can do with their own weapons. Across the rocks, Commissariat, armies will go silent. All contact with the German masters severed, and they will be too busy killing each other to rush to the comrades' aid until it's too late. Their weapons will be desolate like in the wind, and their owners' corpses will only prove that they were ever there at all. These guys are looking very weak, which I like, don't get me wrong. But I kind of doubt we could do anything there. 3v1. We don't have a lot of equipment right now. Could we push them out? They have an intel advantage. We're a bunch of partisan movements. Despotists. Yeah, maybe we could win here. Maybe. Stem from attrition, which is good to see. Home out. They got more planning speed. Okay. Gather support. Nice. We have to train two more divisions, but you know, whatever. And cut every wire. Oh, uh, when the Darn returned to extract the justice of uh, revenge upon the Germans, the only respite the German man may have is the fact that he may scream to his distant comrades before his end is brought forth. But such respite is only temporary. When the precious lines of communication are cut, the Germans can no longer cry for help. Their brothers may no longer arrive to cause havoc in a futile attempt to rescue. From henceforth, the screams and pleas will be lost to the wind. Oh, and here we go. We're going to start losing things like crazy, of course. Uh, we cannot afford to lose the Jakobstadt. We can hold out to the M. Cut every wire. We could win there. I don't mind abandoning this for this tile, I guess. Equipment wise, still hurting, still hurting quite a bit. Which does suck. Oh, that's not good. Well, they're definitely learning a lot here. Not bad so far. A lot of losses for us. A lot of losses. Oof. We lose this tile, so be it. We can retreat, we will, so go and retreat. Retreat here too. Yeah, it's not looking good now, is it? Yeah. I don't know. This is this group is I think relatively strong ish. Yeah, this one is and even the central rada is not bad either. So uh Maurice and cut every wire. And from this point out, I'm we're gonna do some major consequences because we can't afford to lose this war or this tile, so Unfortunately, oh well, it fell but not seen. Oh, look at that. Oh, interesting. Uh, the presence of a Dubuque, so the old story says, not one that any man or woman can see. No, it is the one that is felt. The gnawing feeling in the gut, the flash in the corner of the eye, the whispering in the ear, they say it's nothing. Tricks of the light in the mind, they laugh at their own foolishness. None laugh when they see or feel the blade on their back. The other partisans. In a sea of Germans, there is but one other native of the East fighting for their own freedom. The partisans of the Central European Council, led by the infamous Michael Vitushka, a former collaborator, one who personally sent many Jews to their bloody deaths. Vitushka must die for his crimes sooner than later. Poison words and honeyed promises will not bring back the children slaughtered under Vitushka's gaze. He and his CEC gleefully served the Nazis when it served them, and when they too felt the jackboot seal on their necks, they played the righteous man. Even now, this commercial with the Nazis is all while promising the enslaved peoples of Austin freedom and justice. Things, these things will come, but not under Vitushka's command. Preparations have begun for a strike upon Belarus, one that Vitushka will never see coming. 
The snake has stuck his neck out to fight the German, and in one fell swoop we will stomp it to dust. A tree falls. The force of awesome blaze with fire and death. Death for collaborate and partisan both. Fires evermore join the desperate struggle for control of the woods. Vatushka refuses to roll over and die quickly, and so his execution will transform into a long and painful, painful, painful one. Uh, the forest shudders as the trees are hastily cut down for Fatushka's lines and defenses. The animals are slaughtered for emergency rations, and the rivers are poisoned with lead and blood. But we know these forests well. We fought and died in them in the war. They have become as much a part of us as we are part of them. As we are cloaked in shadow, they will never see or hear us coming. And then, and there was no one to hear it. The time has come, in spite of all the collaborators' traps, we pressed on. Despite the bodies that he threw at us like bullets, we pressed on. And in the end, despite his pleas for mercies, we'll press on. The name Fatushka will forever be remembered as one of the traitor who met his just end at her hands, just like all the other Germans. Well, everyone, there we have. It totally didn't use any sort of cons commands to take out all of the other little warlords here in uh, Austin. Totally didn't. Totally, 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 totally didn't. Well, as far as we know. So, um, this is the last group here. Uh, Letlin and uh, Dreschler. And we just finished a tree falls even before we even finished. And there was no one to hear it. Oh, and we're also encircled as well. So, um, yeah, pretty normal. Pretty normal stuff. Uh, guys, go over that way, and you'll be fine. Have them encircled, yes. Ehrensburg, eh? Sure, why not? Where's the capital? Lutzen, Volmar. Actually, where is the capital? Bezek. Everyone percent away the towards capitulation, but that's all right. Give us some time, and then we will be a okay. Ah, but that was for us. Ah, apparently not. Don't look at the poverty rate. Please don't look at the poverty rate. Holy crap, that's some of the worst I've ever seen in any of my TNO campaigns. But that's a-okay. That's probably the last one we need, huh? Ah, motorized encircled. SS divisions. Actually, pretty decent SS divisions. Look like an actual tank division, actually. But that's alright. Hope you guys are having a pretty good day, and we're still struggling down here, but that's okay. Um, how about you both go here? Just have you just... You do this. Nice. Litzen. Oh, hello. Here we go. Militia, of course, is pretty easy to take care of, usually. Yeah, these guys are actual tank divisions with a lot of motorized. Or maybe just motorized division with a little bit of mo uh, tanks in it. Should be it, but let's see. Oh, good. Alright, and we'll one final offensive. Three, two. We'll get in some entrenchment first. One. And happy August, everybody. And there we go. Goodbye, everybody. You know, force it. Goodbye. I right, guess you need to take... Oh, ah, I see why we, we weren't quite done yet. Because we have these guys down here. My bad. The economy's not doing too bad, though. 4.7% growth. GDP's pretty good. Debt be Wow. We are on fair ratio. Go figure. Um, yeah, just keep going in, guys. Do well. Don't be dumb, and do do great things. Uh, just go, go straight there, guys. Again. Not bad, though. Really deficit. Let's throw austerity because you can for now, which does almost n literally nothing for us, so. And that's pretty much it. Not much here for now, but death of Drush. If you want about that, please go ahead. Death to the Hounds of War. I wish it was some sort of ending event for playing as a little Jewish enclave here. Oh, there it is. Victor Nelson. The final remaining pockets of resistance from that vile German invaders were last snuffed out today. As of now, we have total control over awesome. Our forces are now occupying the most heavily Germanized areas of the country, and any sure of resistance from the few remaining Germans in Austin will be met with the harshest punishment available. We have suffered under the yoke for 20 young, long years. Turnabout is only fair, and the plans of Covenant can finally progress to the next stage after all these years. We'll give them their land back. <laughs> we'll totally give it back. So... And that'll be it. If you enjoyed this small little video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another video. Thanks for watching. Have a great, 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 great Jewish rest of your day.